So this is a different type of video. This is a video all about this little guy because tomorrow is it such a special day? Tomorrow is Gatsby's second birthday. Happy birthday. He's got his little bandana on that says it's my bark day. Wait, show the people your bandana. Show it, come here, over here with your face. See, it says it's my bark day. <laughs> Are you the birthday boy? Are you the birthday boy? Yeah. So Gatsby is going to be two years old. Let me see. This. Yay. He's going to be two. He's such a little grown man. You're such a grown man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Who say hi? You a good boy? You want to show them your tricks? Gatsby, show them how you sit. Good boy, stay. That good. Gatsby, give paw. No, wait. Paw. Good boy. Other paw. Good boy. Yay. You're so good. So, yeah, he is going to be two, and it has been the bevel. I've only had him for, what, like a year and eight months or so, but... It has really just been the best time of our lives. Um, my husband and I just love him so much. Yes, you. I love you. We love you. And he has just been like our best friend, our constant companion. I mean, he's just been the love of our lives. He comes with us absolutely everywhere we go. We take a vacation with him every year. Um, the only times like we went to California and Italy, like obviously we couldn't bring him. We left him with my in-laws love him and he loves his grandparents so he's just a very spoiled little nugget he gets so much love but he brings so much more love into our lives than like we ever would have thought possible he's really just been the greatest thing ever so i just wanted to make a little video tribute to him so today and tomorrow you will get some gatsby videos you're so chill right now why are you so chill i swear that one year ago his first birthday last year he was nowhere near this calm and we've dealt with so much with him this poor little guy has like every allergy a dog can have, 365 days a year. We've been to the allergist, we've been to the eye doctor, the ophthalmologist, we've been to his dermatologist. I mean, he's been to the vet, like you said, he's turning two. I think he's been to the vet like 20, 20, 29, 30 times maybe. He goes to the vet an average of like twice a month. <laughs> um, just because of like his skin allergies, it's ear infections a lot. Um, he's a high maintenance baby, but we pretty much have his allergies under control now. He's on a good regimen, and he really has an amazing allergist. And even our, our regular vet has been awesome. So, and every day, I'm just so thankful and grateful that you know he came into our lives and he came into our family because you know I just imagine someone like. With kids, like just, it's so much work to take care of him. It is a lot of maintenance, and I'm just really glad that he came to my husband and I because we don't have kids, and you know I have a pretty open schedule with my job, and we have the like you know we're fortunate enough and have the availability and able to take care of him and give him the kind of care that he needs, and I'm just really grateful that I have been able to give him the kind of care and the extra special treatment that he needed, and you know if I had to choose between a dog with issues or allergies or a healthy dog I would take an, an allergy dog again and again and again and again because it's really it's just extra love and it makes you love them so much more it just makes you take extra care of them there's the little growth that he had removed it actually was and I talked about this in Norma's candle group I mean I talked about this with everyone but it actually was totally benign it ended up just being you see the little circle right there where they cauterized it it was just the wart he just had a wart it was strange for someone a dog so young to have but they said it's just a virus and puppies get that wart virus pretty often they usually get warts in their mouths he's sniffing my shirt for whatever reason he didn't get it in his mouth he got it on his leg probably because he does have skin allergies and he's got a little bit of a weakened immune system because things are absorbed through their skin and you know he's just got a couple more months on his allergy shots and his immune system will be doing better you're so cute ah! you're the cutest yes you are this is his little bed it says Gatsby so anyway oh you want to play you want to play all right let me finish this video and we can play I want to show you what I got for his birthday, but shh, don't tell him because he's not going to get any of this stuff until tomorrow. FYI, this is my tripod, a, a lotion dish. 
Anyway, <laughs> so let's just get into real quick. I went to Choice Pet is our favorite store. It's where I shop for Gatsby all the time. They have all of his information on the file, all of his stuff. It's just, they're great there. We get his food there because he's got like a special food for his allergies and it's super helpful. So let's get into Gatsby's haul. Oh, he's back and he sees it, but I'm gonna wrap it up and give it to him tomorrow for his birthday. I'll probably wait until my husband gets home. I do have them. Um, oh, let me show you. So this is for tomorrow morning, just to put um, with his food. Yes, this is for you. So I have some candles, because they put candles in his food last year, and then I got this number two candle, because he's turning two. Um, anyway, so I got him a bully stick, because he loves these, and this is a nice big one. The only thing is Gatsby eats one of these in like 20 minutes. <laughs> like You kind of have to watch him and like make sure you take it away because then he'll just puke the rest of the night because he's a squishy faced dog. He has a tendency to puke a lot. And I got him this peanut butter paw print lollipop because he loves these. I don't know what he likes better, like the yogurt and peanut butter on top or the stick down here. Oh, he can have this little piece. Here you go, I like that. All right, this is cheating, but you know, he's just so cute standing there. I'm gonna give him this little piece. Here, you want it? Wait, sit down, sit down. Good boy! Yeah, it's your birthday gift. You're gonna have to rest tomorrow. Is it good? <laughs> you like that? You are so cute. So yeah, so I got him that peanut butter lollipop, but he's gonna have that tomorrow. And he's so funny, he's like kind of scared of this whole thing. Like he won't eat the whole lollipop as is, even though he has a gigantic mouth and could gobble this up in like two seconds flat. But he is a princess and I do have to chop it up into little pieces and hand feed them to him like I just did up at the end of that stick. But that's okay, because that's what you do for your dog. <laughs> and then I got him this, which is his favorite thing in the world. There, If there's one treat Gatsby loves that he could just eat every day for the rest of his life, never get sick of, it is, are you ready for this delicious sounding thing? A peanut butter filled hoof. I think this is like a buffalo hoof or I have no idea what kind of animal this is, but he likes regular hooves too. It doesn't even have to be peanut butter filled, and these smell absolutely disgusting. They smell like um, swamp crotch. I'm just, I could say it a lot worse, but I don't want to get that graphic on my channel, but um, I think swamp crotch will suffice. It's pretty horrific smelling, but that's why he likes them so much. Anyway, um, he likes the plain hooves. He chews them all the time and horns too, but when they're filled with peanut butter, it's like an extra special treat. Like, doesn't that just look delicious? He is gonna lose his shit when he sees this. He absolutely loves peanut butter hooves. They are his favorite thing ever. He just like, he loves them. So he's got one of those. And then last is just like the little cutesy stuff. So I got him, they're like puppy truffles. Like, this store has like a doggy bakery section. Um, so it's like little candies and things. So, and it's great because they're grain free. So he can eat them because he does have a grain allergy. He eats mostly protein. His, the special food he has is just like fish, egg whites, pea protein, and potato starch. So these are made just of yogurt and carob. I think these are just yogurt though. So they're little yogurt candy paw prints. They sound like, um, ooh. They kind of look like white chocolate. They smell like white chocolate. They actually smell like something I would eat. Like, if I didn't know these were dog toys, I would probably eat them. Dog toys, dog treats. So he has these for tomorrow. And then, how oh, wait, you're gonna die of the cuteness. Puppy truffles, I can't even take it. So I got him three of these truffles. And of course, obviously, I'm not gonna give him all this stuff at once. I just wanna like wrap him up in a nice basket and give it to him, because you know, he totally knows what's going on. I mean, he's aware, he understands he's getting gifts. He's a person, let's be real here. So I got him these doggy truffles, and these are just filled with this stuff inside. Like just, um, I think it's just the plain white yogurt. And then this isn't chocolate, even though it looks and smells like chocolate, it's actually just carob. So it's safe for doggies to eat because chocolate's poison for dogs and I would never give my dog poison. Um, and this isn't poison, this is puppy safe, puppy healthy. And yeah, so he's got these things. And then I saved the best for last and this is just gonna go on top of his little food bowl tomorrow with his number two candle. And that is his happy birthday bone. <laughs> okay.
please don't judge me too harshly. I don't have kids yet and Gatsby is my life. Honestly, even when I have kids, I'll probably still be doing this for Gatsby and hopefully I'll have a bunch of other puppies by that point too. And my kids will just join in the fun and help make Gatsby's birthday basket and you know, it'll just be good times had by all. So that's what I got him. A lot of goodies that hopefully you'll have for a while. You won't just gobble up in one one sitting, right, you little squish? So let me just pan over to Gatsby because you are the star of the show today. Yes, you are. Are you such a good boy? You are the best. You are the best boy ever. Yes, you are so sweet. Hi. And Gatsby came with me. He already knows what all those are because you pick them out, right? You sniff them out. You let me know which ones you like. And he was so happy. I know you just can't wait. To, oh, you smell all that puppy chocolate. I know it's so good, right? It's so good. It's your birthday weekend. Who's the birthday boy? Who's the birthday boy? And tomorrow is the Vintage Chic Sense restock. So we are going to celebrate Gatsby's birthday. We're going to order some wax. And then mom is going to go to the gym and then go to work. And then when my husband gets home from work, we're gonna give him the best little treats. So I will try to film that tomorrow, um, but if I don't film anything or post it tomorrow, you know, we were just too caught up in the birthday celebrations. But yeah, this is my little baby, my little Gatsby boo, I love you. And I know a lot of you guys, most, most everyone who watches my channel, I think, knows who Gatsby is. For anyone who's new, my newer subscribers, um, if you go back in my older videos, I used to film sitting in front of the camera I don't anymore because I just don't have the time. Like, I just, I really don't. Um, Cause I would like get dressed and like, you know, do it up nice. I just like, it's so much easier to just do it this way. Um, but anyway, Gatsby would always sit and film with me. He would always hang out. He was in every single video. So if you go back, you'll see him. You can't miss him. And you know, I'm friends with a lot of you guys on Facebook too and Instagram and there's pictures of him everywhere. Gatsby actually has his own Instagram. I will link it below. Hopefully I'll remember. But his Instagram is at Gatsby underscore the underscore Boston underscore. And if I do say so myself, it is the best dog Instagram ever. Actually, it's better than mine. He's more popular than mine, but can you blame him? He's the cutest one in our family by far. By far. Yes, you little whisker love bug. All right, I think that's enough puppy mush. Happy birthday, baby. I love you. I love you. All right, guys, thank you for watching um, my puppy nonsense. Have a great night, a great Wednesday, and I'll see you in my next video.